the United States has, for quite some time, been the dominant culture of the world. This dominance has brought us a lot of comforts. It's made us a cocky nation. It's made us a very cocky nation. This isn't unique to us. Every culture, every society that has dominated a, a large area of the planet or dominated the planet has become cocky. And this itself, while not desirable, isn't actually a fault. But if we look back over the dominant societies of every era, with every governmental system, with every advancement, what we find is that the dominant societies are the ones that are open to new ideas, whether it be Gutenberg's movable type in order to print books, whether it be Henry Ford and his assembly line, democracy, representative democracy, equality between sexes and races, which did so much for us here, Orville and Wilbur bringing us flight, whether it be gunpowder, whether it be a kind of secular humanism that advanced North Italy during the Renaissance, whether it be gunpowder, it's always this openness to new ideas that pushes the dominant society forward. Now, America, the United States, we find ourselves floundering in debt. We find ourselves shipping jobs overseas. We find that the world's largest democracy is now India. China owns most of our debt. And we're wondering what it is these societies have without paying attention to the fact that it's new ideas that propel a society forward. It's acceptance of something new. It's the willingness to experiment. All the while, we have marching in the streets, the Tea Party. A plurality, not a majority, but a plurality of people who are screaming to go back to the efforts of the past. They had it right in 1776, they say. In 1776, what they had right was the willingness to try a new idea. It's not their principles that worked. It's not their ideas that worked. It's not their formulation or construct that worked. It's not what they wrote down that worked. It's the fact that they were willing to be revolutionary. And trying to go back to that system is not revolutionary. The people who are so admired by the people, the group, trying to push us backwards are the people who pushed forward, the people who accepted the new, the people who strived for more, the people who were willing to embrace new ideas instead of pushing them aside and saying we needed to go back. If we ever make it on top again, which at this point it may be too late, but if we ever make it on top again, it's going to be because we learn to embrace new ideas, learn to be open to change, not because we want things to be like they were 200 plus years ago.